Jay Metcalf from Better Sax here at Sweetwater. Today I wanted to talk about some things us saxophone players can and should steal from guitar players. With the invention of the electric guitar, they stole the spotlight from us as the main solo instrument in popular music styles, so they owe us. The guitar is a rhythmic instrument. It's percussive. One of the first things you learn to do on the guitar is strum basic chords and keep time. On the saxophone, we traditionally start out learning how to read music and blow a few notes in a very unrhythmic way. It's not entirely our fault, but sax players aren't always known for being in the pocket. Guitar players, bass players, pianists, and drummers all have roles in the band that require them to be responsible for the rhythm. Imagine the sax player had to hold down the groove for everyone else. Might be a bit of a disaster. One thing we can practice is to play accompaniment parts on songs as though we were in the rhythm section. If you played the guitar riff from a rock song and tried to lock in the rhythm with the bass and drums, your rhythm would tighten up, I promise. You'll also learn a thing or two about how chord progressions work in the process. You can also try playing the bass line to any rock, pop, or soul music song. Pretend you're the bass player and work on your time. <laughs> You'll develop arbiter strength with this as well as a deeper harmonic knowledge. Now carry that pocket over to everything else you play. Another thing that guitarists typically learn from day one is how to play popular rock and pop songs. While sax players are learning how to play hot cross buns, guitar players are learning Led Zeppelin tunes. Learn songs you want to play from the beginning. Whatever style of music you like to listen to, there are melodies that will be relatively easy to play starting out. Did you ever see Slash reading music on stage? Why are all these rock musicians, many of whom don't even know how to read sheet music, able to perform at a high level while knowing dozens of songs? It's because not only do we not need the sheet music, but it can actually be an impediment when it comes to learning popular music. Saxophonists are basically chained to sheet music from day one, the way the instrument is typically taught, while drummers, bass players, guitarists, and even pianists learn to play music without it. That sheet music dependence is one of the main reasons your rhythm sucks. Liberate yourself from sheet music when playing popular music styles, and you will play better and be able to build a repertoire of learned tunes. I created a free course on exactly how to get started with this called Play Sax by Ear Crash Course, you can find this on bettersax.com and we'll put a link for you in the description. I don't know which lesson guitar players learn the pentatonic scale, but based on how much they use it, it's probably pretty early on in the curriculum. Saxophone players often don't even get taught this scale until they're studying jazz, which many people never do anyway. The pentatonic scale is basically the building block for melodies and improvised solos in popular music styles going way back. If you learn that scale and know how to use it, you'll be able to do so much more on your instrument. Guitar players use this scale like there are no others and without any shame. That's why they are rocking killer solos and have their own video games. Why should sax players let the guitarists have all the glory? Sax Hero for PlayStation could be a thing one day. Once you know your pentatonic scale and have burned your sheet music, rock out with a distortion pedal.
I've been playing for you today on the better sax, alto saxophone, and burning mouthpiece. Both are available on Sweetwater.com or from your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching.